My name is Raoul. I'm coming from Berlin. I'm 33 years old. I am a wheelchair driver. Uh, I have osteogenesis imperfecta. In German, it's called Glasnock. And I'm one of the founders of the nonprofit organization called Sozialhelden. Sozialhelden is a German word. Um, it means social heroes. And we try to do social innovation, one project per year. And um, these projects are trying to be most innovative. And um, our biggest project is called wheelmap.org. It's an online platform where people with mobility impairments can rate places by accessibility with their smartphone. The idea um, had a friend of mine who was totally annoyed by the situation that we always had to game to the same cafe in my neighborhood. But uh, we also wanted to go to a cafe in his neighborhood. But we never realized or we never um, paid attention if a place is accessible in his neighborhood. And so he came up with the idea, um, how would it be to rate a place when you just go by or when you enter a place, if it's accessible or not. And um, with this idea, we started going online. Uh, it's now called wheelmap.org. And now we have nearly 400,000 places on the map. It's the biggest online platform um, regarding this topic. And yeah, we are quite happy with it. Well, you can go on wheelmap.org and rate a place right on your computer browser. Or you download a smartphone app for Android or iPhone. And then um, on, on the app, um, there appear the places right nearby you. And then you can rate them. Yeah, so on, on wimap.org, we are right now here. <laughs> um, you see a lot of marked pins. Some of them are green, some of them are yellow, and some of them are red or gray. Um, the green ones mean that these places are wheelchair accessible. The yellow one means, yeah, they are accessible partly, so that you can um, enter a place, but maybe there's no wheelchair accessible toilet. The red ones indicate that this place is not wheelchair accessible. And um, the gray places um, show that we don't have information there and ask people to add if the place is accessible or not. This uh, plant has a name. And uh, she is called Franziska. It's a word game between plant and Franziska. Plantziska. Floriska. And the star is our logo from Sozialhelden. Yeah, I'm Andy. I'm working at the Sozialhelden since two and a half years. And, and I make the public relation and communication with the media and communication in social media like Facebook or Twitter. Um, yeah, we work in, with Sozialhelden this is, um, with the storytelling that we don't want to say, okay, it's it's suffering, it's bad, so it should, we, we, we want to say, okay, we have some solutions, like wemap.org, like mo mobile rams, like some other pro uh, um, projects, and um, yeah, and we want to communicate in a positive way with solution and not with suffering. Uh, our focus is uh, in Germany, because we are based here, but it's also uh, possible to rate places in other countries. We have a big community in Japan, in Italy, and um, well, I would assume that in Brazil, a lot of places are marked as gray, and um, that means that we don't have information about this place, but you can easily edit this place. Um, if you want to contribute some, some information on a place in your neighborhood, you only need to open up wemap.org, and there you can rate places. Okay, now um, I open up the Wim iPhone app and try to look what's around here uh, where we can go inside. Um, oh yeah, I see a place. It's called uh, Biax Reisen and they should have a ramp. On wimap.org, we can also mark places if they are not accessible. And a lot of places are not accessible because they have one or two steps 
in front of the entrance. And so we had the idea, how would it be if we donate ramps to these places? And so we started a crowdfunding campaign where we ask people to give us money so that we can buy ramps to donate them to the places uh, where people with wheelchairs want to go into. And um, now we distribute it to 100 ramps, but our goal are 1,000 ramps. We just came with a mobile ramp, and um, that's just it, and everyone is happy. There were two steps in front of the entrance, but with a ramp, uh, every wheelchair driver can manage to enter. And so we try to distribute ramps to places with one or two steps. It's a simple, affordable ramp, and it costs 100 euros. And if you want to, you can visit our website on women.org. Ciao, Brazil!